Howdy, kitties. Howdy, freedom. Remember the times on Dr. News. News from in around the universe that may or may not affect you on a weird, strange, diverse, and amazing level to the point that you'll reach past the stratosphere, grasp the moon, and go, hmm, Rocky. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot of weirdness, of course, going around about the teaser trailer, including I died laughing. Somebody had a Twitter argument, and I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, their basic argument is I've done this much, this much, and this much, therefore I'm entitled to something. And I'm like, you can do a billion podcasts, you ain't entitled to shit. I'm sorry, it's just, really? And I love the uh, the, the whole 1979 story is persevering, you know, the one that started after I told him I started watching Doctor Who in 83. But the thing is, is this, um, just because you've done a lot of podcasts on a subject does not make you an expert in any way, shape, or form. You gotta get out, you gotta do the research. And it just amazes the shit out of me because it's like, that's like saying, We've done a whole lot of podcasts discussing, you know, like Fukushima or something like that. That means I should be allowed to go take control of a nuclear reactor. It just, talking about it does not make you an expert. But that's a whole other story. Let's get into it. Let's get on to it because there's a lot of stuff to go through today. Because, believe it or not, Radio Times is coming out tomorrow. And guess what? It's already leaked. Uh, um, <laughs> but I'm just going to show you the pics. This beautiful photo of Jody here, about to throw up the hood, so to speak. Uh, we get a little bit closer view here of the ear, you know, earring, and of course, I'll do it my way. Um, the the I tried reading this a bit; it's a bit hard to, but at the same time, it you know, it was kind of possible, and it's a very interesting read. This, of course, will be out in the Radio Times tomorrow. So, oh, sorry, wrong way. Um, I got things a little backwards here. So, like I said, we've already seen pretty much this type of stuff, but there's exclusives here with Bradley Walsh, Taz and Cole, and of course, yeah, you know, Mandip Gill. Um, there's also a bit in here with the Chibs. So, just to give you a slight preview. Now, according to one of the articles we're going to read here, it's Jody's regeneration energy is reaching through and touching their lives and making pizzas reappear. Exclusive look at Doctor Series 11. This will only be this week in you know, only in this week's Radio Times. Of course, they're forgetting that Entertainment Weekly will have a Comic-Con exclusive episode thing out, but oh well. Um, and it gives you a little preview of what's in it as I've shown you, in case you want to go check it out for yourself. Um, some brand new shots of the cast. Well, I've already seen them. Um, a little bit about the TARDIS team. Um, a little bit there, the, the thing I didn't get to read is like some behind the scenes secrets. I didn't really see all that awful much. And of course, an exclusive Radio Times photo shoot with Jody Whitaker. So, you get boom, boom, boom. Remember, this is out tomorrow, so you ain't got long to wait if you want to get your own. Moving forward, uh, Doctor Boss promises all new monsters for Jodie Whittaker's first series. Uh, um, here we go. Da, 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 here we... Looks like we'd be seeing mainly new foes for the Time Lord in the new series, according to Chris Chibnall. Um, quote: um, It looks like this. Looking like this clean slate could also apply to the foes placed by the Doctor, you know, faced by the Doctor in the first series. With new series, Chris Chibnall promising an all new, promising all new monsters in an exclusive Radio Times interview. So, we've got a new Doctor, all new characters, all new monsters, all new stories. Uh, Chibnall says in the latest issue of Real Radio Times, of course, out tomorrow. It's going to be exciting, emotional, and the most enormous fun. Now, so this could mean we won't be seeing any of the usual foes, including Cybermen, Weeping Angels, Ice Warriors, and the Daleks. Or you know, the thing is, here's here's the thing: a lot of people have been jumping up and down because of this one photo going, "Oh, the Sontarans are confirmed." No, they aren't. Um, all we saw was a bunch of guys standing off in the difference. That could have been. You see what I mean? It's. But the thing is, is this: you know, you know how the Chibs and the Moth and that gang play the game. They could just be playing, you know, tugging on, you know, tugging your leg, pulling your leg. That's what I want to say, not tugging your. Well, so just keep your eyes open. Like I said, I'm. I'm kind of hoping this is true because there's some enemies and adversaries such as the Daleks and all that have just been done to death. They need a rest. And it's, you know, it'll be nice to see something new and refreshing come in there. Okay. It's really important to me that there's no barrier to entry to multiple radio times. You don't need to know about anything that's come before. Jody Whittaker's first Dr. Teaser trailer will get you excited for the new series. And 
here's some stuff about that and they're mainly talking about of course the teaser which we've all seen which a lot of sites were advertising as a trailer some people claim they weren't wrong they were it was being advertised as a trailer in every site i saw but like i said it it is what it is it kind of grew on me like i said the best part of it though was the end where she smiles and that's it you know it's like i had to you know, really catch that really close because of the fact that come on uh, well that's a whole nother thing moving on uh, 17 Doctor Who fans who just can't handle Jodie Quittaker's first teaser trailer. Okay, and this is mainly a whole lot of hype right here. Some folks going on about the new teaser, new trailer, and whatnot, or whatever you want to call it. And of course, I noticed how I put that up 15 seconds was all over the internet. But, well, I'm, I'm assuming other people screen capped it, so I'm going to say it's exclusively me. So, just a lot of fan reactions here if you want to go check it out. Moving forward. And the very subtle Easter egg, if you didn't catch it, is the Beano magazine. So I'll, I'll save you a little bit of reading here. And it's the same one that I believe Matt Smith was reading while observing. I think it was Clara's parents and Rings of Ahol 10. Or whatever episode it was. I think it was Rings of Ahol 10. So, boom, moving on. This is a nice article in Think. It uh, covers some pretty interesting ground. I'm going to leave it up here for you to read. Um, it's, it shouldn't take you long. But like I said, it just brought us some interesting thoughts. So that's why I'm going to throw it in here for you. And 10 things we noticed in the new Doctor trailer. This is out in the Metro, and I'm going to leave it for you to read. Now, the thing is, a lot of people have been walking around going, I am entitled to this. I am entitled to that. You ain't entitled to Jack and shit. That's what you're entitled to, and Jack left town. It's just amazing to me how some fans are out there thinking, well, because I've done this, I've done this, and I've spent more money on merch than anybody else. I should be allowed exclusive access to things. Here's the thing. It, it, it's just, I've been watching this show for, as of, yeah, since 1983. Someone came up with 79 after they heard that. But since 1983, and I remember that summer, and it's like going on 35 years for me. But guess what? I'm not going to go online and say I, de I demand shit because I've been watching the show longer. There's people who've been watching it longer than me. Like I said, my friend Callan's been watching it since the, the, the Hartnell era. So it's like, that's just one of the most pointless arguments I've ever heard, and it's moronic. But like I said, we, you know, it's grown on me a little bit now that I've watched this thing a few times. But at the same time, yes, I would have rather seen something along the line of um, Time of Heroes, where we actually got a brief glimpse of what could be coming. You know, not enough to really spoil it, but would say would not to say, okay, there could be that, there could be that, there could be that. But like I said, that's the one thing that was missing. Well, I'm gonna get out of here, folks. So take care. Ta -ta. Enjoy the rest of your night. We'll see you on the flip side. Have a good one. Later's. <laughs>